Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? I haven't given that thought. Didn't give a thought to the number. Um, I'd say uh, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about that. Uh, and I don't really care about that question much of the number of friends. Uh, what I'm not particularly happy with is um, there were people who were close friends who are no longer close friends because just didn't keep in touch. Um, life drifted us apart. Um, that I'm not happy with. Um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, yeah, I have, I have some very close friends um, and friends who are not in academia um, or tech, which is super important for staying grounded, remembering, you know, larger values in the world, different values and things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm never wanting for more friends. I'm never thinking that I wish I had another close friend to talk to. Um, I've actually sort of intentionally worked on having a set of friends that I can sort of talk to and vent to about different aspects of, um, you know, sexism in tech or like just, you know, feeling depressed about things. And so I have tried to create a little bit of a network of, you know, people I can talk to very closely so that no one person, no one friend has to deal with everything. <laughs> Uh, but I have kind of like different topics all spread amongst yeah. the different closer <laughs> friends. Right. Uh, yeah, it seems yeah. a good amount. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? It is what it is. Uh, it's, uh, it could be fewer. Uh, it could be more. Um, but then it wouldn't be me. It would be somebody else. It wouldn't be my life. Um, it's fine. I'm generally happy with my life, including this aspect of my life. Right. Um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Um, not really. I, I think that I, I would love to have. I would love to have more. And I think also there is a cultural difference between the U.S. and Spain. Um, and probably within the U.S. also there are so many differences across across the entire country mm -hmm. uh, but um for instance especially from the place i grew up because i grew up in an island in the mediterranean in mallorca so there all my friends are there they are still there there are very few that left the island because it's a beautiful island life is just amazing so why would you leave the island <laughs> I was, you know, I was sent away to report back and to tell them that it's still okay to stay <laughs> there, you know, still the best place. Um, so all my friends are there, and, and so whenever I go there, I, I have a lot of fun, and it's like going back to, to, to high school. Yeah. Um, so I, I miss a little bit that. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Number of close friends I have, yeah, I'm very happy with the number. I'm not happy with the geographical distribution because mm. they're not close. Mm. Uh, they're like, a lot of them are in Europe mm. and that makes it more difficult to like, I mean, now we don't really see each other again uh, so much even in New York, but I mean, in, in, in regular time, it's, it's much harder to meet with my close friends because they're in Europe. And even if it's just six hours time difference, Six hours is actually tricky still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, there it, it's a relatively small number. I mean, uh, and some of them go back to my college days, I think. Mm. Uh, and and then some of them have been acquired over my over my work life. Mm. And, uh, I'm, uh, I feel I'm very lucky in that sense. Uh, mm. I, I have very good relationships with many of my former students. Mm. And uh, because it's over time, we have talked about many issues and not just, uh, not just science. Mm. Yeah. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Um, I, 
I'm quite keen on having more friends. Like that's, I like meeting people and uh, and hanging out with new folks and and having nice conversations and and new sort of friendships. Mm-hmm. But I have a very close set of friends that we are seeing each other since high school uh, and are still going strong and and. Uh, and so if anything at this point, yeah, it's more like there's practically speaking, there's not a whole lot of new friendships I could really actively maintain mm. given how, well, the family life in particular, but also like work life being relatively busy. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm not left wanting in terms of friendship. Mm. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Uh, yeah, yeah, I... Mm. I, I keep a lot of, I mean, I'm not tons of friends, but I have good friends from many stages of my life that I, that I stay close with, that I, I spend time with, I always have, mm. um, and that, I, that are very important to me. And so, mm. yes, I definitely spend time on my friendships, but it, for me, it's, it's very important in the balance and and honestly, it's very important also for me to have friends outside of our field. I find our field is just kind of frenetic and very much of a pub bubble. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> it's really useful for me. I have friends who are, you know, all sorts of different types of work, uh, artists, teachers, uh, pharmacists, all sorts of other things that puts them mm-hmm. in contact with other life experiences. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really value that in, mm-hmm. our, in our friendship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Yeah. 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 I think, you know, there, there are people who, who have a few, a few really close friends that they maintain long term relationships with. Um, and I'm, I happen to be one of those. I mean, there are a lot of people in my network, obviously my professional network is, is like uncountably large at this point, it feels like. Um, and, um, and then, you know, outside work, uh, I have a, a relatively small number of friends. And it's, I, I kind of feel like the optimal thing is that whenever I go to a particular city, having one person that I know really, really, really well uh, nearby that I can try and see uh, is, is a nice, obviously not this year. But yeah, um, but yeah I, I, I feel like, you know, a lot of, I, I think even th- there's a set of people that I'm good friends with through my professional network. And that's almost the same thing in, in many cases. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Um, uh, that's a great question. I don't know. It, you know, it's funny. So being an academic, I had this weird situation where people who I consider to be close friends, I see them maybe twice a year, and they're all over the globe. <laughs> So that's such a weird thing. I, you know, can I really call them close friends if I just see them twice a year? I don't know. Um, but I, so I'm happy with that level of friends. I, you know, that's been one of the real surprises and wonderful things about being an academic is that you finally get so specialized <laughs> that you find people who are really just like you and who you kind of really like and, and they're all over the world. And that's been great. Um, as far as like close friends around where I live, uh, you know, I, I think I, I probably should have more. I think it's, it's funny, I guess, should. Um, it would be nice to have more. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? I think so. Yeah. I think uh, I, 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 I have good relations with all the close friends. I don't have too many, but uh, the small number that I have, um, having good relations with them is what I enjoy. So, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. Um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Um. I am. So most of my close friends happen to not be in Atlanta, Georgia. Hmm. Um, So most of my close friends are from California. So sometimes that makes it harder to keep in touch, but we always keep in touch at least. Mm -hmm. Um, In Georgia, Atlanta, I have a few, but not as many as I do as in California. Hmm. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? I guess I I would say that I guess I'm okay with it. I think in the last few years, I have not had that much time to socialize. So I have have only like a couple of close friends. 
Um, but I think that's just part of like, you know, having young kids and having two jobs and having like a lot of stuff that has, that I have to do. It's kind of a phase, I look at it as a phase in life. And mm. so I'm not that focused on, friend, on friends really right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? So I would say over time, uh, it's been more about quality than quantity, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, certainly like compared to in college and although, right, I mean, I, I care about them. We are connected, right? People are all over the world and uh, uh, they have their own lives uh, going on with so many uh, responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So I would say in that sense, yeah, people I'm in regular touch, uh, uh, is much lower, but on the other hand, I have that support network, right? Friends and even family, especially my mother is such a great source of emotional support and more like a friend. And, you know, we've also grown uh, through this relationship in terms of like she, you know, trusting me and respecting me to <laughs> make choices, uh, but also being, trying to be a friend giving like advice without expecting it would be always executed. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so I value the close friends and family I have. Yeah, yeah. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Hmm, am I happy with it? I am happy with the, so I'm very grateful for the close, close friends I have. I'm, I feel really fortunate to be married to my best friend. And that's something that, you know, that, time and I'm very, uh, feel very fortunate about that. And I have um, friends from you know, various parts in my life and I'm you know, grateful for all of them. I tend to, I tend to actually um, think of friends, not just in an abstract way, but I tend to have activities I do with different friends. Mm. So there are friends with whom I do one activity or another activity, but friends in an abstract sense, I don't think I tend to form them. They tend to be around a shared interest, hmm. and those I tend to gravitate towards people who also have the same passion for whatever it is that we might be doing. You know, it might be something around work, it might be something around an activity, you know, like playing games or scuba diving or martial arts. But for me, the set of people that I have tend to be people with whom I enjoy doing an activity. I don't think I'm really, I'm really not that excited about just having maybe maybe just even this notion of having a conversation by itself is something that is you know takes work for me to get into yeah, so, yeah. Well. thank you for doing that yeah no it's a it, it's a real opportunity and, and you know it's something that helps me get better <laughs> no, no. are you happy with the number of close friends you have um yeah, I mean, obviously the pandemic has caused a bit less social contact than one might normally have. And that's been hard, I think, for everyone around the world. But, uh, you know, I tend to be the kind of person who doesn't need to have a huge number of friends, but to have a small handful of close friends. Hmm. Um, yeah. Are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Yes, I think the, there are a number of cross friends. Like it, maybe it's not in the um, um, in the vicinity, uh, but I do have like close friend with the, even we even have uh, con in contact. Even uh, for example, um, after this, they are separate around the world. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are high school students, uh, high school uh, like classmates, and some of them are uh, like universities. Um, some of them are from from um, uh, Illinois. So we, we still have this chat group that's very active. Uh, uh, yeah, so we'll share deals and see, share a number of things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. 